welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by and I hope you'll stay a while. And if you are not new here, thanks so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your support. If you like, if you are a makeup lover like me, and you like seeing makeup tutorials and swatch videos and reviews of makeup products and hauls, then consider subscribing. I do all of that here on my channel and I give you a new video every week. Once a week I upload a new video. So consider subscribing so that you don't miss anything and hit that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, alright, so today I did this eyeshadow look for you. I, um, I didn't know what I was going to do and I usually never do. But I did know I wanted to use my new ColourPop pressed shadows. I picked up some um, recently and I did some swatches of them and I will link that video below. And here they are very pretty and I just knew I wanted to play with them today so I ended up doing this look which is actually very reminiscent of a look that I did a few weeks ago that I posted on Instagram and um, I wasn't planning to do a similar look that one is a little is a lot more pink and this one I think is I don't know peachy pink maybe with some I don't know but <laughs> they're not exactly the same but they're similar because that blue I put on the uh, lower lid that's when I was like hmm wait a minute I've done this before so I did it again and this time I used my color uh, color pop pressed shadows and I think all yeah just about all of the shadows I used in this look are the ColourPop shadows. I did dip into my Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette and I used that one color, this color right here, Doom, and that's the blue that is on my lower lid that is also combined with a, a blue eyeliner from Urban Decay. So the combination of those two is what's on my lower lid. And of course I use one of my NYX shadows. If you've been here before, you know, I, I use at least one NYX shadow, the same eyeshadow in every tutorial. So um, I use that one, of course, but everything else is ColourPop. Okay, so um, if you are interested in seeing how they performed and I will be telling you my thoughts about them at the end of this video so I hope you will stay until then and if you would like to see how I achieve this look today then keep on watching all right so we're gonna start like we always do this is my uh, LA girl Pro HD concealer in the color fawn and I'm just going to blend that out all over my lid. Don't worry, as always, all the products I mentioned will be listed in the description box below. So I'm taking my Real Technique Real Techniques brush and I'm just blending that all over my lid. And then I'm going to set this concealer with a shadow from NYX. This is Blame It on Midnight, which is just going to create a nice smooth canvas for which to blend all the shadows I'm going to place on top. First color I'm going in with is Paper Tiger. And I was a little surprised <laughs> that this shadow didn't really show up at all <laughs> on my lid. It's like the same color as my skin tone, so um, I could have skipped this step. <laughs> And now I'm going in with Secrets. And that's a really pigmented, nice, light, pinky peach color. And I was really happy with how pigmented this shadow is. As you saw, it's a little powdery. And you do get a lot of kick up in the pan. But um, I, can, um, I can live with that because 
this pigmentation is really good and so is the blendability. Next up is the news and that's in the same color family like a pinky peach color and I'm also putting that in the crease. That first color went a little above the crease and in the crease and this color I'm placing in the crease so that I can cr create a nice gradient from that lighter color to a darker color and I'm just going back and forth with um, windshield wiper motions and little circular motions and then back in with that original color secrets um, yes yeah, secrets to blend out those edges now I'm going in with making moves and this is a nice like a pinky coral color and I'm packing that all over the lid using my Sigma E55 shader brush and I'm just going to dip it back into the pan and apply more color and back and forth motions and padding motions because I really want to pack this color on my lid and get as much pigmentation and intensity as possible. And a lot of fallout with these shadows because they're very soft. And then back in with the news. And I'm going to blend that some more in the crease so that we can so that I can blend out that shadow also on the lid so there's no harsh lines between the two shadows. And then back in with making moves. Again, you want a seamless blend between all the shadows. Now I'm taking Stay Golden, where uh, a color that is not gold at all. <laughs> it's more plum, cranberry plum, and I'm applying that to the outer V area using a Real Techniques shader brush. I love this brush to place color on the outer V area. And then I'm just going to blend that using back and forth in circular motions on the lid and up into the crease. And now I decided I wanted to not make this um, look so monochromatic. So this is silver lining and I'm using that to blend around the edges of that color the initial color I put on secrets so I'm adding a little a little different pop of color to this look so it's not all coral cranberry plum I, I have now a little lavender purple on there in there and then back in with secrets to blend out the edges of that lavender color And then back in with the lid color because with all that blending, some of that intensity got blended away. And then blend, blend, blend. Blending is the key to every eyeshadow look. want to make sure you can see what where one shadow ends and the other begins and that's what the shadows look like blended and now I'm just taking um, some bioderma on a cotton pad and I'm cleaning up all of that fallout now this is Clinique black honey the color black honey eyeliner and I don't really I just want to darken the lashes I don't really want to make a harsh line with this eyeliner 
I just want to make my lashes look darker. So I'm tight lining with that eyeliner. And now this is Inglot Gel Liner. And I'm going to apply that off camera. And those are the Ardell, I believe those are 110, number 110 lashes. And that gel liner is a purpley, kind of a violet blue color that I thought went well with this eye look. And I didn't realize I wasn't filming, so um, I didn't film that part. That was um, Urban Decay eyeliner in the color Abyss that's on my waterline. And this is the color Doom from the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette. And I'm just using that to place on my lower lash line and blend out some of that blue eyeliner. And that's what the eyes look like completed. Oh, okay, not completed. <laughs> not yet. Oh, my inner corner highlight. <laughs> Can't forget about the inner corner highlight. That's on the fence. And it's a shimmery pink shadow. And I'm placing that in the inner corner. And that will complete the eye look. And I'm using my trusty Makeup Geek pencil brush to apply that color. And that's what the eyes look like completed. Okay guys, so the eyes are done. In the interest of saving time, I did the rest of my makeup off camera. Um, but let me know if you would like to see more full face tutorials. I do have one that I will link below. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to add my lipstick. I already put on my lip balm. And I'm going to start with my lip liner, which is, of course, my trusty MAC Chestnut. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Katsu Liquid Lipstick in the color Rebel Rose, which is my favorite color of all of the ones that I bought. Um, I really like these. I know I've said that before, but I really like these. $4.99? $4.99. Gonna touch it up a little bit with my lip liner. And then I'm going to put a little color on my lips today. I'm not gonna go too pinky nude today. I'm gonna add a little color. And I'm going to use a Sephora lip gloss. I don't know the name of it and I cannot, I just, I can't read these. I can't see this at all. I don't, I don't know what this is, but I will find, oh wait, here it is. It's on the top. What? This is number 19 Plum Fiction. Okay, so I'm going to use that today you know I forgot how pigmented 
and opaque these lip glosses are because I didn't really need to put anything on underneath it because um, it's that opaque. I love these. I love these. Don't sleep on Sephora. If you don't have them, you should try them. They're fabulous. Okay, and I think it goes well with the eye look. What do you think? I think so. All right, and now we are finished. So I like the way I like the way it came out. Yeah, I like it. These shadows, the ColourPop shadows, I like them. I like them. They are pigmented. They um, blend very well. Pretty colors. They really remind me, and I'm sure I've said this before, they really remind me of the Kat Von D eyeshadows. Um, Kat Von D is also very pigmented, high in blendability, and they, they're they soft, so there's a lot of kick up. Same as these, when you put your brush into the pan, you get a lot of kick up. But, um, so it gets, it gets kind of messy. It gets a little messy. But uh, I don't mind it because... They're really nice. They're really nice. So if you've been thinking about getting some of the ColourPop pressed shadows, I think you should go ahead. I got these on sale. They were $4 each when ColourPop was having their 20% off sale. They have a lot of sales, so I'm sure they will be on sale again. And when they are, I will probably pick up a few more. They've got a new collection coming out. I think with another a collaboration with another YouTuber uh, who I don't know and I don't remember her name, but it looks really nice. So I might end up picking up that collection. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you saw anything that you liked in this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.